What's up, YouTube? Welcome to New Parenting Training. So today we got a product that was sent by Enfrayer, and this is a monocular telescope professional lens. So this is pretty cool. Now, if you have a smartphone, this is definitely something for you to go out, uh, to go night scene, camping, bird watching, hiking, sports, concert, seaside. Well, there's a lot of stuff going on with this. So this is a 12 by 50 high def uh, lens that is also waterproof and you can use one hand to operate and also low light vision. So this has a lot of stuff going on with this lens. As always, I'll put the product information down in the description below so you can go check them out. And let's see. So have a cap. I think this is a cell phone holder. Yep. A stand. The lens itself. Let's see what else it has. Uh, instruction how to use it. A lens wiper. And also a hand strap. So let's see how what the lens looks like. Ooh, this is pretty heavy. Uh, this definitely looks cool. There's also a cap on the back end, cap on the front. So this is what it looks like. <laughs> looks like something that you put on your uh, long range rifle. <laughs> but yeah, this looks pretty cool. Let me go test it out and show you the uh, comparison of the photos taken by this monocular and also by just using the phone with the digital zoom uh, lens. All right, let's do the setup. So as you can see, here's the monocular, has a lens cover in the front and in the back. So the back one, you can remove it. The front, technically you could as well, but you know, uh, just for keeping the lens clean, you should always just kind of uh, leave it on. Now, they do provide you with a lens wiper. So if the lens get dirty, you can just wipe it down. And, and once, you have taken out the back when you need to uh, put set up with your cell phone you need to use this cap with center hole open so what you do is pretty much like this but in order to set up you actually need to put onto the cell phone bracket Okay, and that's on. Now you can adjust the cell phone holder. Let me show you how you want to do it. Now the whole point of it is that you will use your cell phone lens to see through the hole here, which is attached to the back here. So hold down the, the cell phone like so and then you tighten this button down they do provide you with a tripod for the monocular and the way you set this up is that on the bottom here you will see the center there's a place for you to screw this on like so Voila, and then what you're going to do is to attach this onto here. As you can see, now your phone is seen through the hole here, which is connected to the entire monocular here. So this is how you set this up. So over the weekend, we take our family out to a park and I was using this monocular on the cell phone. And 
<laughs> I was blown away. This thing is incredible. Initially, it took me a while to kind of get used to it you know, because of the fact that I never really used one of this before. The lens cap with the center cut out that attached to your phone. Technically, you need to zoom in a little bit when you're using your phone to take photo or videos. Uh, once you get past that, then you will see the incredible point of view that you will capture on your on your cell phone via this uh, monocular. This monocular is perfect for a cell phone that has one or maybe two cameras at the back. So what I found is kind of hard to use on my Samsung S21 because uh, there's three cameras. So every time I zoom in, it switched to a different camera. So then I have to readjust the lens cap in order to use it. And another thing is that when I'm using my Samsung S21, uh, for whatever reason, if I use the zoom feature for too long, it gets really hot and the phone will actually tell me to it, it will shut down for a bit to cool down. So it wasn't that pleasant with my S21, but I use my wife's iPhone XS that phone works extremely well with this monocular. Okay, so now let me show you some of the photos I have taken uh, with this monocular. When we went to the park, there was a pond and we're in it. There were a bunch of turtles and dragonflies and butterflies. So I was able to find a, a turtle that was sitting still. Here's a video first with just a regular lens and you can see like this pond is quite large. And once I zoom in, there's the turtle. And let me show you a picture of it. Now here's the picture of using the regular lens on the back of the uh, smartphone. Uh, if you look into it, you will see the turtle is right in the middle of the picture. And now let me show you with the monocular. Now initially I didn't know what I was doing, so uh, I didn't zoom in. So here are some of the photos with a circle and then the black area on the side. Now once I pinch and zoom in the lens as you can see the picture becomes like really really clear now here are some of the photo of the turtles and here are some of the photo of the dragonfly i was able to capture so this monocular is quite incredible in terms of capturing something that's far far away the more up-to-date smartphone you probably get like 30x or 100x in terms of digital zoom now this is very different this is actually zoom in without using the digital technology so you will not lose a whole lot of information on the picture or the video that you want to record this monocular is perfect for someone who is a casual bird watcher or like to go to a park every now and then and you take this with you and you can use this on your cell phone. This is perfect for people who just like to be on the go. Now compared to the traditional camera, you probably need to get a really big lens to put on your camera to you want to see that far, see that clear. And also this thing is priced at 30 some odd dollars. So it's very affordable. The only complaint I might have with this is not the lens itself, but the lens holder. I cannot fit every thing in there like the tripod all the lens caps and stuff it, they won't all they will not all fit in there so if the company able to come up with a pouch that's a little bit bigger that will be icing on the cake so anyway if you have any questions leave it down below until next time bye